The following video is of my mentor, Nancy Morgan Hart, of Headlines with a Voice. I'm going to leave this video right here because she says it all. There's a wave of rage burning through the United States right now. Let's recap. Dr. Fauci and Dr. Birx used the Imperial College model to persuade President Trump to lock down the entire U.S. economy. The Imperial College model predicted 2.2 million American deaths from the pandemic, and it has since been determined to be complete garbage. The authors of the model shared their findings with the White House Task Force in early March. Fauci and Birx then met with President Trump privately and urged him to shut down the United States based on this fraudulent model, resulting in the complete destruction of the economy. New analysis of the Imperial College model finds that the study is completely unusable for scientific purposes. The Imperial College model is a complete sham. Fauci and Birx pushed that garbage on the president and the American people and destroyed the economy, millions of lives and businesses. In mid-April, Fauci admitted that it was he and Birx that persuaded President Trump to lock down the country, knowing full well the massive destruction that this would cause in jobs, lives and commerce. The president admitted during a press conference in April that two very smart people came into his office and urged him to lock down the country, or 2.2 million Americans would die because of the outbreak. After Fauci and Birx consulted with the president, we went into lockdown. Since that time, over 39 million Americans have lost their jobs and thousands of companies have gone bankrupt. In late March, Neil Ferguson, the man behind the Imperial College COVID-19 study, backtracked and said 20,000 Brits may die from the outbreak instead of his original one half million. Ferguson resigned from his government post as researcher one week ago after he was caught meeting with his married mistress at his home breaking his own lockdown rules. Ferguson's model was complete trash. Fauci and Birx ran with it anyway, without any facts or comparisons or even a second opinion. It wasn't science, people. It was manipulation based on political allegiance. I'll let you figure that one out for yourselves. The United States is now in the throes of unprecedented rates of unemployment and poverty over an illness that the CDC finally admits has a fatality rate similar to the 1957-1958 flu. After destroying the U.S. economy, causing rates of unemployment not seen since the Great Depression, and destroying millions of American lives based on a crap model developed by a guy in the UK that thinks with his dick, Fauci backtracked from his previous statements. Today, May 22, 2020, Fauci told CNBC, staying closed too long could cause irreparable damage. I have two questions. Mr. President, tell the people of the United States why you keep Fauci, Redfield, and Burks on your task force. If you're unaware of their criminal histories and the developments that I just reported, then you're not fit to be president of the United States. If you are aware of their histories and put them in charge anyway, what does that make you? This is Nancy Morganhart.